right, so this is a 2006 uh, Generation 8 Honda Civic 5-door. And as you can see, there's an immobilizer issue here. Um, there's actually more than an immobilizer issue here. Um, the ECU is actually fried as well. Um, so I decided that um, the car was too good to be scrapped. Um, so here what I, here's what I had to do to, um, to get it back on the road. Uh, I'm sure this works across the Hondas, but anyway, this is this specific car, that's what it is. The ECU is uh, mounted up the front beside the uh, the battery. Um, it's only held up by three screws like that. Um, it's sitting upright at the back of the battery. Um, the, the fuse board, that's the internal fuse board, that's bolted under the footwell, under the steering wheel column. Um, nightmare to get out. Uh, it's connected on the front. These connectors are actually okay. You can get to them quite easily. The back ones are not so easy. Um, so you kind of need to be double jointed or have female hands like me. Um, you, won't, you won't get to this very easily. Uh, that's where the MCU is also located. Um, the ignition, um, obviously in the steering column. Uh, what's bolted to this is the stock with the indicators. Um, and also this pickup unit for your immobilizer. So this video is for people who have an issue with their with their um, ECU, MCU, um, immobilizer. You know, you get the, the three, like I showed you, the, the three, um, the flashing green key, um, all that kind of stuff. So at minimum, what I would do is, um, if you want to keep your existing barrel um, with your existing key, I would just swap, so I bought this for 100 quid on eBay, um, so I would swap the chip from the key that you buy on eBay into your existing chip or into your existing key um, and that that look, that sorts the key out and um, then on the barrel I would leave the barrel as is, that's what I did on this car um, and all I would do is I would just take this off in situ um, so you do actually have to release the stock. There's three screws holding the stock. Um, I can't show you because I've already done this in the car, but um, it is possible to replace this uh, without removing the steering wheel, the airbag, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I just loosened the stock, I tilted it a little bit, and I got to this screw. This screw here is the, the one that, that gives you hassle. Um, all the other ones are accessible. The, the other three are accessible from underneath. So you need that. That's, that's chipped. Those two are chipped together, and so is the ECU. And lastly, you can swap out the MCU, which is underneath. Um, it's kind of underneath, upright like this, mounted like this. Um, so just unplug them. There's three big connectors. They just pull off and pull out, pull off and pull out, those three. These are just clicky ones. Same on the back. You hold it until it kind of clicks, and then you pull it, except for this last one. God knows how you take this one out. I just got along those pliers and I just pulled it. Um, I got fed up at that stage. Um, but that's it. So I swapped those three things. And now, so I now have a, a new mobilizer chip. Um, and the car is working. Um, so yeah, I, I'll show you a few photographs of the location of this and the, the plugs. Um, if, if you're unsure. But um, yeah, this, this solves the problem. So if, you, if you're stuck with no keys or immobilizer issues or ECU issues, um, this car, the, the issue with this car was someone shortened the ECU and actually blew the ECU. So, so that meant I, I had no immobilizer either. Um, so I had to swap all this out. But once I swap all this out, the, the car is running. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. It is and gone and also all my uh, error codes are gone because obviously my ECU is brand new so um, yeah that's uh, nice and quick the interior fuse board is the the trickiest thing to change that takes that took me a good of an hour but all around it's probably about two hours work thanks for watching